everyone, welcome back to Clumsy Cakes. My name's Amy. So when I really started getting into baking, I was always told by blogs and online and from all different sources that you really need to weigh your ingredients rather than measure them. And I never really took that advice because one, I'm lazy. And two, I thought, how much of a difference could a few grams make? Today, I want to put it to the test. So I am going to take my fudge brownie recipe, and that will also be linked up in the cards um, if you want to see more detailed instructions on that, because I'm just going to be speeding through the process of making these brownies. This video is more about weighing versus measuring rather than showcasing a recipe. So we're going to start out with the measured recipe first. I'm not going to show you how I measure all of the ingredients, but I'm just going to show you with my flour. So for the flour, we need one fourth of a cup plus three quarters of a tablespoon of flour. So I have my one fourth measuring cup. And the pros of using measuring cups is because it's easier, but the thing about measuring is that different measuring cups all have different measurements um, if you were to weigh it. So you're going to get a different outcome uh, depending on which measuring cup you're using. It's also definitely a little bit messier. As you can see, I'm filling some into the bowl. And uh, if you didn't rinse the bowl out, which I'm going to do, that would also make your measurements more inaccurate because you obviously have more than you have measured out. Okay, I just packed it down. And I'm just gonna take my knife with the flat end. Just make sure it's all level. And then into the bowl that goes. And then for my three quarters of a tablespoon, I just have a tablespoon measured. And I'm just gonna fill it up three quarters of the way. And I am definitely seeing that with measuring, you have a lot more guessing than you would have with weighing. All right, so that is our one quarter cup plus three quarters of a tablespoon of flour. So I have all my ingredients weighed out. Hi guys, I just wanted to cut into the middle of this video. The next little bit was about eggs, and it turns out I was completely wrong after doing a little bit of research about it. So I'm gonna show you guys the right way <laughs> how to measure out your eggs and how to weigh your eggs. We're gonna be cutting our recipe in half, and the full recipe has three eggs. So I'm gonna show you guys how to split an egg, because you can't just cut an egg in half but there is a way to do it. For measuring our egg, one large egg, which is what I'm using, baking recipes will either use large eggs or extra large eggs. I'm using a large egg today, and a large egg will have about three tablespoons in there. So we're gonna measure out a tablespoon and a half, and then obviously use this whole egg. And we're gonna have one and a half eggs for our recipe. We're gonna just scramble this up really good so that the yolk and the white are completely together. So now I'm gonna, gonna just take my tablespoon. <laughs> All right, I got it guys. One tablespoon and then because a tablespoon is three teaspoons. I'm gonna use one teaspoon measure and then one half teaspoon measure. And there you go. You have half the egg in here, half the egg in here. And then for the rest, you would just use this egg as well. So now we're going to weigh out an egg and a half. Each large egg has about 56 grams. So 56 plus 
28 would be the half of an egg and that equals 84 grams. So we're first gonna put our container that we want our eggs in on there. Zero that out. So I'll just pour our cracked egg in there to start. We have 40 grams, so we need another 44. Eighty-eight. So we're gonna take a little bit out. Eighty-seven. Eighty-six. Eighty-five. And we have eighty-four. So we will use that for our recipe. And now on with the rest of the video. So I realized I forgot the sugar. So it's six tablespoons granulated sugar and brown sugar. So these are gonna go into my 350 degree preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until a toothpick and start it in the center of them comes up. Some moist crumbs on it, but no wet batter. All right, so now we're going to weigh out our ingredients for the second recipe. We're gonna start it with the chocolate and the butter. As you can see, I put the top of my double boiler onto the scale, this is what I want to put my chocolate chips and butter straight into. So first of all, make sure that your um, scale is measuring in grams. The top of the double boiler is reading at 288 grams. So I'm going to zero that out so that it's not measuring or reporting the weight of the double boiler as well as the weight of the chocolate chips. We want just the weight of the chocolate chips. 90 grams. So I'm just going to patiently sprinkle these in until it reads 90 grams. Oh, oh, I have a little bit more that I need. It's reading 103, 100, 97, 95, Ninety-two. Ninety. So we have our chocolate chips. So now that I got the amount that I need for the chocolate chips, I'm going to zero that out. We're gonna weigh our butter. We need 57 grams of butter. I'm just going to do it a tablespoon at a time. I know that it's approximately half a stick, but we want to be pretty bizarre. 17. 33. 42. 
to set. So we have our butter and our chocolate all done. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of the ingredients and then I will show you the process. These have come out of the oven. This is the one that was with measured ingredients. And this is the one with weighed ingredients. They do look a tad bit different. Um, the one that's weighed is a little bit taller. That might just be the one that I picked out of there. They were individual brownie servings. So I'm gonna taste the one that was weighed first. I mean, that was measured. Tastes like all my other brownies. Now we taste I'm gonna taste my one with weighed ingredients. That is definitely different. This one's chocolate here. Definitely. The one with the weighed ingredients is definitely more chocolatey than the one with the measured ingredients. Pretty similar in texture and look, but if I was to choose one that I liked better, I would say this one with the weighed ingredients. And yeah, everything else was the same. So definitely it was the result of the weighed ingredients. Um, is it a night and day difference? I would say no. Um, there's a definite difference, but um, I wouldn't say it's, oh my gosh, this one is just okay. It's more phenomenal. I would say this one, the one with the weighed ingredients is a little bit better one with the, the measured ingredients. It really wasn't as much work as I thought it would be to weigh the ingredients rather than measure. Um, so maybe I will keep doing this in the future. At any rate, I will, I mean, it's not gonna happen overnight, but I will put the gram measurements next to all of my ingredients um, on both my blog and on YouTube. Um, so that you can make that choice for yourself. I mean, you could do it even now for if you wanted to just look up what the conversion would be, but I will put it up there for you. So I'm very excited that I did this. I think it was a good idea to at least try, and um, I was curious because I keep hearing it over and over again. Weigh your ingredients, weigh your ingredients, weigh your ingredients. So I did it. <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below. While you're down there, leave me any suggestions for what you would like to see next. And subscribe to make more messes with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!